Hi, so um, this is my Sony turntable. I don't know what model it is. PS Alex 510. Right. But um, that's not important. What's important is um, it needs uh, repair. <laughs> because when you press the start button, the tone art doesn't move. Now, I have two new belts right here. And I'm just going to replace it. Uh, why am I replacing it now? Because I'm impatient. And I shouldn't be replacing it because I do not have... I, I, sh I have oil for this, right? But this, is, this motor isn't servo control. What's happening is there's a circuit board in there. Like a strip. And that tells the turntable where the toner is. Uh, I don't have contact cleaner, and I should really buy that to clean it before repairing it. And I also have no way of playing it, because here's the cord. And here's the preamp. The phono preamp. So yeah, but I'm impatient, and I want to fix this even though I have class in like less than 11 hours. So, yeah. Alright, so, I'm just gonna fuck. Jeez. I did that one. Okay, I'm gonna just grab the turntable. at the turntable on my bed and plugged in I can demonstrate you the problem. Turn it on. Turns on. Press start. Motor turns. But the tone doesn't move but you can hear the motor. Right? Push it, give it a nudge. Lifting it doesn't really move it, you actually have to push it. So you gotta push it right there because I'm going to flip this now and I need to elevate it here so I don't crush the tunnel. I should have done this on, on the floor. This safe. Got yourself some big shock rubber feet here. Casing is plastic, it looks like metal, but it's not. We'll just go grab a screwdriver. Ooh, I have the belt too. Got a bigger screwdriver, and now we're in. And there's the belt for the tone arm. Um, I know I don't have contact cleaner, but I'm clean it anyways. Rubbing alcohol. The fact this cover got the destruction, uh, so it should be should should be uh, should be too hard. No, that's pretty hard. Okay, where to start? So. I like grease. I like grease here. It's like grease from on the cable. Hmm. So I like grease on that spring too. That's a strange design. Uh, I'm gonna clean the shaft with you know rubbing alcohol, and then I'll oil it with machine oil, some machine oil. That should work. I should be using this, the synthetic stuff, but I don't have that. The belt here is pretty soft. It's loose. It's pretty loose. 
Uh, let's see what we get here. We got the direct drive motor, the uh, controller. This I don't I don't know what that is. Ground might be ground. I don't know. On and off button, the control, and. Uh, I believe there's no there's no phone preamp. Tension on this still got though. Really um that's interesting design here that the uh, mechanism that moves the tone arc back and forth it's actually not connected to the tone arc, but it's lead with this. See here's the toner. Just the two electrical contacts. I don't have contact cleaner, but I'll just use. Uh, uh, I'll just use. Uh, what's it called? Rubbing alcohol, because um, that seems to work when I do uh, cell phones and iPad repair when I replace the screen. It's around there. Looks pretty clean, you can't really see it. I cleaned that. Be nice to get the shaft out, but I don't know if I could do that. I just finished cleaning and lubricating the shaft with some really shitty synthetic grease. Um not sure if I was supposed to do that. I I think the video was stopped, but someone told me if it would have been better to show sewing machine oil instead of the shitty grease or um, graphite because what I wiped off was pretty, was black <laughs> and dry. Uh, I'm not really good at lubricating this type of stuff. I'm really good at changing belts, <laughs> lubricating cap stand on a uh, turn table. Uh, here's the thing that's supposed to detect like where the tone iron is, so I think you know, I didn't <laughs> I didn't keep my eye on it and when I took the tone iron, I, I bent it really badly, so tried bending it back. Hopefully it works. <laughs> Phone right now, memory. As you can see it works. Nice.